welcome to another day on the vlog and this day is very special because we're going to Joshua Tree National Park my favorite place in the United States pretty much and I'm really excited because I'm going there with Mia obviously Mia come here come good here, girl. morning guys good morning <laughs> yeah we're all ready <laughs> and we're, we're going so to celebrate ready. your birthday now Birthday girl. So I'm turning 24. Yeah. We're this. gonna be the same age then, because yes. I'm already 24. Yeah. So what's happening is Mia's gonna drive like a pro. So guys, I just finished packing up my suitcase for Joshua Tree. I know it's ridiculously big, but that's because Mia and I are going to shoot a lot. Um, there I have all my skincare and that's kind of like my to-go bag. All right, people, we got a car! Yay. And some go good news too. And some amazing news. Do you want to announce yeah, it? Yeah, no, no. Now, this car is our car for two days. Yeah. And it's exciting. Yeah. Here we go. Birthday Here's car. Birthday car. Oh my God. Here's Mia driving. I mean, I think I'm an okay driver, so I believe in myself. But Lilia yeah. put your seatbelt on. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, I did get in a car crash last time I was in LA. My you did first or you one did ever. Not. You did? Yeah. With someone who couldn't drive or no, no, no it was Lyft. Left. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was in LA oh, yeah. on the way to the airport. We're in the car. We have some juices, Co coffers. Oh my god, I was said in Dutch. Suitcases. In Dutch, it's coffers. What, what <laughs> coffers? Co coffers. Coffers. I, I even said like coffin. Like so, almost like coffin. Like the one uh, when you die. <laughs> no, it's even more pathetic. I said coffers, which is like how an American person would uh, pronounce the word coffers. Like in Dutch, it's coffers. I'm trying to do the American accent subconsciously, so I said coffers, but it's coffers. But Got it. anyway, suitcases. The big one is mine. And the smaller one is Mia's because I have a lot of shit, as always. We're finally ready to go to Joshua Tree, so, yay! It's gonna be a party. It's going to be lit. This is the living room and it's looking amazing. Honestly, I'm in love with this space. I think it looks stunning. And then you have the kitchen and dining area here. And the kitchen has gold accents. I mean, how amazing is that? I love it. So cute. And then you have the first bedroom here so cute oh my god so cute love it but i think this is probably bathroom let's see oh this is also an outside door so you can go outside immediately if you want there's another outside door there and then here is the bathroom and I love the gold accents again. The only thing that could be better in this place is the bath. I think the bath is not that amazing, but other than that, this bathroom is stunning. And then here is, I think the master bedroom. So beautiful, oh my God, I'm in love. And look at this beautiful vanity, so cute. And then here there's the laundry. And I think here, let's see, is the little backyard patio. Imagine living in something like this. Good job finding this one. And this is one of the cheaper ones. 
cheaper on this day. Yeah, then on, on the weekend it gets like twice yeah. the price. Oh my god, amazing. We did a lot of shooting today and I'm very excited to see all the final results and edit everything. But I do want to talk about one thing real quick. Sometimes I get comments from you know, people that follow me or just come across my videos and don't really know, you know my, the way I work. And I do want to say that some people think that you know, my life is perfect, that I'm achieving this certain aesthetic that's very unrealistic and what I want to say is that I'm naturally a very organized person but I also want to say that to create a beautiful space it also it also requires a lot of work so if you see beautiful pictures and beautiful imagery or videos on my youtube channel or on my instagram that's not because it, you know it's just like casual I'm sitting and it's perfect it's not like that at all um, I try to create beautiful stuff because I really enjoy doing that and I love to spread beauty but I also want you guys to know that it takes a lot of work and you know me and I we are both content creators and you know we are investing in our platforms and in you know the videos and pictures that we create by going to this Airbnb we're not sponsored or anything by this but we just love doing this and it's also of course a work so I don't want to say that we take so much time and effort to create this stuff and I hope you guys appreciate it but I, I want you to know that that behind every picture I don't want you to feel like oh shit I mean I don't even know if you guys think that but if you do I don't want to f make you feel like you think she has this perfect life I wish I had this I don't have this at all what I want you to think is that whoa this is a beautiful image but it took her hours to create that. So that's just a quick little side note. Before I'm decorating the space behind us, I'm going to make it very cute and moody with candles. And now I'm going to show you guys how I actually create one of those very dreamy pictures with like all the LED lights and candles. What I use is just these really cheap fairy lights I got from a Dutch supermarket, super random. They cost two euros. And look at the beautiful effect they create if you use them. These are some fake candles, but usually I use real candles, but this building, or building, this apartment actually had fake ones, so that's really nice too. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to add as many candles as I can. And what I then not like to do is add any other uh, sources of light, because usually that's going to take away from like this glowing effect. So I like to shoot it like as dark as possible and then have all the lights and then after editing I brighten the picture completely. So that's kind of a little bit of my behind the scenes process and I hope you guys found it interesting. See the difference now that I'm going to turn it on. Okay, this one is also me too. So there you go. This is already a start and then I'm going to add some candles and see how it's going to look in the picture. So guys, I am now burning 32 little candles. 
Um, I'm going to put a couple here and then what I have left over I'm going to put on the ground. Also, a quick side note, this didn't cost <laughs> a lot of money at all. This is actually from the Dollar Tree. So I got two packs for two dollars. So if you're like, oh, I don't have the money for all these expensive accessories, money is not the issue. These were two dollars total and then my lights were four dollars total. So there you go. <laughs> So guys, this is the finished result. Even though it's dark, it's looking really good on camera. So plan is succeeded. Yeah, I wish, I wish I recorded what she said earlier. She was like, Mia, did you smell them? The candles smell like vanilla, but they're fake candles. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think you really like scents. Yeah, I do. Very, yeah. <laughs> you get, I see your eyes, it lights up when <laughs> you smell good. something. <laughs> I bet when you smell something really bad. Yeah, do, do I, you I, 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 oh, oh, I smell something very bad. I like started mouth breathing and I called you with smelling it. I guess I have a good nose. She told me this, to smell the wood. I'm like, yes, what the fuck? <laughs> what? This is a how to win Lilia's heart. Please put 32 candles, 100 candles on yes, the floor. 1,000. <laughs> Can you and imagine? Roses. And roses. Damn. If that, guy would have done that for me, I'm done. That's it. That's you it. can have my hands. Yeah. You can have. <laughs> Propose to me. Yeah. Before I'm going to end this video, you probably noticed me like mentioning something really quick in the car at the beginning of this vlog about some great news that I didn't want to share. And um, the reason why I said that I didn't want to share it with you guys was because I had to process it because it's quite big news. And um, yeah, I had this whole day to think about it and talk about it together with Mia. I thought that right now would be a good moment to, to share. As you guys know from my previous vlog, if you haven't watched my previous LA vlog, I will link it in the description box down below as well as here. But if you watch that one, you will know that my lawyer is actually based in LA. And um, one of the reasons why I wanted to plan a last trip to LA was to meet her in person. Now, <laughs> when I met her in person, um, it was the first time actually I met her in person, we had such a good talk about my case, about my situation, that we thought of a possibility that we could try in order for me to at least stay now to either July or the end of September of 2019. So I would have, you know, definitely some more months here in the US. We weren't really sure if it would work. Today, we discovered that it is actually the case. I'm just mind mind blown at this moment because I always thought that, you know, LA would be my last trip. I would be here for five days and then that's it. I would have two days in DC to say goodbye to my friends and pack my stuff and then I would be flying to the Netherlands, staying there possibly only for a few months or indefinitely if I wouldn't get my visa. But now everything changes because I can stay longer here. Obviously it's only temporary too, so in the end I do have to go back, but you know, it just feels so much better being here. So I decided to change my flight to the Netherlands. So your girl will not be going back in a few days to the Netherlands. And um, yeah, the next question that I have to decide on is where I am going to stay. If you guys also watched my very first LA vlog, you'll know that I'm not the biggest fan of LA. I love Joshua Tree, but I'm not the biggest fan of LA. Um, I didn't have the greatest experience going to LA and I love DC, honestly. DC is one of my favorite places in the world. But for some odd 
reason, I don't really feel the urge to go back to DC. I feel like I should maybe stay here in LA for a bit longer um, because yeah, I'm in a very unique and kind of weird and scary position that I don't have a home because I moved out of my apartment in DC and I've been currently living in an Airbnb together with Mia and we've been so flexible, we've been able to travel so much and because we both do the same thing, we both do social media and influencing, we are also kind of like colleagues for each other which is really nice because this job can get kind of lonely, not gonna lie. So I really enjoy spending time with Mia and like, you know, working together, creating awesome content together, having fun together. You know, since I moved to the US, I didn't see that much of the US at all because I was so busy with law school. And now that I graduated, this is like my time to actually see more of this country. So to me, it just doesn't make sense to go back to DC and then maybe look for an apartment for like five months and stay there if I can also like kind of travel the US and discover more. Um, but it is a really scary, <laughs> really scary decision. I'm also going to be living out of my suitcase, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. And yeah, I always consider myself kind of like a homey person. It's always different living in someone else's house than in your own home, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, I, I don't want to sound ungrateful or anything like that because I know this is an amazing opportunity and I think that's why I'm going to take it. But I have a little bit of my, my doubts, like I don't 100% know what to do. Yeah, and, and the last thing that I want to talk about a little, just a little bit because it's really personal, but I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about it, um, is that me and my boyfriend are not really doing that great. And... Um, yeah, that's all what I'm going to say about it now. Um, but that is definitely also a factor when it comes to my decision um, that I'm going to make right now. But yeah, um, that is the news. I hope you guys are excited to see more of me in the US. I'm not going back to the Netherlands yet. <laughs> and um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to end this vlog right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye, guys.